Hey my honey bunches, welcome back to Bougie Bites with Honey. Today we are having a seafood boil. I know y'all are looking like, really honey, what's up with this presentation? But we're going to take it down together and build it back up. I did a seafood boil in a bag, we'll get into that. And today we will be using some of the leftover king crab ATL sauce as well as the sprinkle factory seasoning. But yeah, we'll talk about all of that as soon as we get into the video. I'm not even going to cut, let's just go right in, okay? Ignore this. We got in the water yesterday, which was uh, Labor Day weekend for me. So, y'all tell me that don't look good. Tell me that does not look like a blessing. Oh, maybe I can just fold it right on over. Y'all gonna laugh at me when y'all hear how I had to rig this. Oh, back here is more prettier though. I can't relift it. All right. So, as I said, this is all the Sprinkle Factory seasonings, but I added Old Bay, because it's seafood, why not? And I should probably taste this butter sauce first to make sure it's still fresh. Still popping. Y'all see that steam? All right, let's just do it. Ooh, look at all that drip, y'all, look at that. Oh, I wish y'all could see back here. Okay. I can't lift all of that off. Y'all have to forgive me. Let's go in with the shrimp. Don't that look good? It's so hot, y'all. Oh, I got juices down here. Come through. I only use one stick of Kerrygold butter. Okay. Whoa. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's good. So, shout out to the Sprinkle Factory. They have a YouTube channel. I found them on Instagram. Then I started um, binging their uh, YouTube. I'm saying there. Her YouTube. And I fell in love with like all the recipes and things like that. She was making everything just look really, really good. So, I commented and she reached out to me and sent me the seasoning. Mmm. I'm gonna give y'all the next bite. I had to make sure it was good. Mm, mm, mm. It tastes just like I always say it tastes like home. It's a combination of flavors that I use in my seafood bowl anyway. So it, it was perfect for me. It made sense. Publix had these bad boys on sale. All of this was on sale at Publix. That's why we have it today. Mm -mm. Wow. <clears throat> Today is Tuesday. The sale goes off. Told y'all I'm pre recording just in case something comes up for me lately. Mm -mm -mm. I need to go back. Mm. That's bomb, y'all. Added some garlic to it as well. I'm gonna give y'all the whole bite, just chomp. Get into that bite, y'all. My God. This piece is broken. I should save this one for my kid. I'm hesitant to even put this in my mouth on how they roasted me on IG, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wow, sweet. Yeah. Y'all know how I had my um, King Crab ATL video and I put the lobster in my mouth because we like the flavor off the shell. Y'all already know this, but IG took it sexually and went in on your girl. I'm not gonna lie. This might be the best batch I've made. Yeah, and I'm gonna redo it tomorrow for my sister. She don't know it yet. It's something about putting it in the oven and having all the flavors just caught in the seams. Wow. Where did the other piece went? Y'all. Mm. 
I can't believe what I'm experiencing right now. Sprinkle Factory. Wow. And it's so tender, it's just shredding apart, y'all. This is why I don't wear clothes for my videos. It's too messy. I was having that conversation before I started filming about how I was going to start putting on clothes, giving y'all a full production with this butter, man. Maybe on non seafood boil videos. So, guys, y'all see how it looks like I have oven bags before y'all? This was supposed to start off actually as a, um, I'm not going to tell y'all. That way I can do it for y'all again later. What I was supposed to do did not work out because I didn't have what I needed. I have it. I just can't find it in my pantry. So I gave up and was like, forget it. I've already seasoned the seafood. So I'm going to put it in the oven bag. But I noticed the oven bag didn't have a slit. And it kept, like I opened, I have four left in the pack. What well, should have been a red flag. I have four left, but none of them were open. I was like, I know Publix did not play me. I think I had them in my pantry for months. Probably since the holidays, so that's when you mostly use them. So, I was getting frustrated. I'm about to forget it. I'm just sending, I'm going to use these anyway, make it work. But I'm taking them back to Publix to get a refund. Guys, why when I finally rigged it, cut the slides open that didn't have an opening? I went to put the box in the bag to take back to Publix. I noticed the box said slow cooker liners. Y'all, reading is fundamental. I was using slow cooker liners and that's why it didn't have an opening slip. I know y'all wanted real butter sauce. Hold on. But I'm enjoying all that flavor down there. Y'all just can't see it. I was so mad at myself standing in the kitchen. So, still worked out just fine. But usually the oven bags only come with like three in the pack. So for me to still have like four in this box, I should have known something was off. And now I'm going to be mad when I go use my slow cooker and I didn't use up all my bags. But this was worth it. Can't wait to bite that corn. That corn is left over. We had a seafood boil off camera yesterday. I'm sorry. Y'all didn't need to know, did y'all? I think I'm going to eat these off camera or save them for the kids. Oh, I got a piece of sausage right here. Let's get some juice on that. Mmm. All turkey sausage. That's mom. We try the corn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Delicious. Y'all know when I find something I like, and this is not my first time doing this, I've been steaming seafood in the bag and I'll can't talk. I've been steaming ste <laughs> I've been steaming seafood in the bag for years. I just hadn't done it in a while. Look at this one. So this is hitting the spot. Trying to keep it on the pretty side. Uh oh, I had to burp, y'all. Let me tell y'all what happened. Yesterday, I'm in the kitchen cooking, see for boil, like I just said. And the kids are outside playing. 
because they were getting in on the seafood too. If you're new here, I only have one kid, seven year old boy. That's it. That's all. We're done. But he has little kids in the neighborhood that he likes to have playdates with. So I'm in the kitchen cooking. They're outside playing in the backyard. They're supposed to be playing soccer. All of a sudden, the door slides open. My kitchen is up on my second floor. And all I hear is boom, 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 boom. So they're flying up the steps. I know you lying. I know you did not run up my house with shoes on. So I knew something was wrong right then and there. Y'all, why was the little bully back in town? I thought we got rid of him. I thought the trouble days were over. What I didn't tell y'all last year, remember the little boy at the school called himself being a bully in the neighborhood. And he's a problem kid, you know, the school's sick of him. Everybody's sick of him. Y'all are Dennis the Menace. How I thought we set him straight. Where was I going with that? <laughs> it feels so good. Yeah, so he has sent my kid a note right before the end of the school year. It was this long letter he had somebody give to me. And it said, I hope you grow up to be a better person than I will be. Excuse me. Y'all, that broke my heart. For a child to have that understanding that I ain't going to be nothing in life or did somebody tell you you're not going to be nothing in life because I don't care how bad my kid is if I had that problem kid I would be encouraging him speaking of which what is he doing up there mm -mm -mm. I would not be telling him you're not going to be nothing in life like why would he say that so anyway he fooled me I was like okay well just say hi and bye don't play together but you know, we forgive you. You're going to be great in life. And that was the last day of school. So here we are yesterday, fast forwarding to. I answer my door. I go back downstairs to see why the kids were running. This little boy is at my door with some little makeshift, makeshift weapon. He had taken like this hard ball. And made some type of string for it to attach to. To where you can, you know, wind it up and sling it at somebody. Mm. I should have ate this off camera. This is amazing. And I want to smash. Yeah, where was he thought he was going with that? Please explain that to me. So. I feel my face dirty, y'all. I'm so sorry. So I answered the door. I said, what are you doing with that? What do you want? He's telling me he needs to see the kids. They need to come out. Mind you, he's trying to like push past me in my own house. Like I'm really going to let him come in and hurt these children. I said, if you don't get your narrow behind from out front of my door and go home. Like you are really, mental issues are real, y'all. Like you are really that far gone to think I would let you pass me. To think you were getting in my home to hurt my child. I, I was just done. I don't know you lying. And if I wasn't cooking, I would have took him home with that butt whooping. Because I had warned the parent before. Because she was like, oh, I don't know what to do with him. I said, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'll show you what to do with it. Do with him. So to me, that was my warning, right? So today... They go back to school after the holiday. I was waiting for him. I told him, you make sure you keep your hands to yourself or you're going to be dealing with me when you get home. Okay. All right. Bye. Have a good day. And I gave my kid the same speech. Make great choices. That's what I tell him every day when he leaves his house. Make great choices. I don't want him to know his mama crazy just yet. <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. But I also don't play. This kid's got to know. So, I thought that was something else, y'all. I hate doing seafood boils only because it goes by so quick. And look at the time. Man, look at all that. There we go. 
I wish I could turn the camera around. Yo, why he just ran past my window? So I gotta hurry up anyway before these kids start playing soccer back there. And all the parents, this is not hard y'all, it's just my wrists don't wanna cooperate. I really want it. And all the parents had already said, you know, y'all can't play with him. So I don't understand why she can't, I don't know how you're supposed to monitor your kid when they leave the house, but figure it out. Figure it out. So yeah, he's not going outside to play today because I don't feel like it. Come on, man. Should have brought scissors. He's playing inside today. If y'all hear stomping, that's from his games. I'm gonna take a walk after this, so that'll be his little outside time. Oh, these kids, something else, y'all. Mm, why you didn't tell me we didn't eat that part? Mm -mm. that's why I'm down here so he could have had the space so he has a toy room but lately he's been playing in the living room y'all know times have changed because we ain't never been allowed to do that mm. oh, that hurt I gotta figure this out okay yeah we were swimming yesterday or in the water, rather. I ain't gonna say swimming. I ain't gonna waste that lie. Except my Velcro. Detach. I know most of y'all done clicked off, but if you're still here and you hadn't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. I mean, I feel sorry for some people that um really want to see me finish my food and I just sit here smashing off camera. But, um, sorry. Excuse me. I just ate it off my lap. I just got out the shower, y'all. Don't trip. And why do we continue showering before eating seafood videos? I don't know. I do it every time. I want some king crab, y'all. Ooh. I have to do that next in the oven. Now that I have never done, put king crab in the oven. Let me eat this and I'm going to eat the shrimp. Just playing too much, y'all. I'm so sorry. And usually when I bake them, it comes right out. Not this time. They taste like when I use my steamer. That's what it tastes like. Because when you boil them, it's, it's so much juice. So I didn't want to boil it down here and make a mess. Mm -mm. What else? How many bites of sausage? Does this one already bit? I don't know. Let's bite it again. Mmm. 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 Now I wish I had made the potatoes. I was like, no. Nope. You don't need it. Get that bite off. Mm -mm. I'm so happy right now. 
And then doing it this way is better because just like when I use my steamer, you can go get yourself together while the food is preparing and not stand over a boiling pot, you know? I'm throwing the shirt right in the trash when I'm done. Because the butter not coming out. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all still there? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I don't know why I didn't bring some newspaper down here. And I knew better. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Be safe. Make great choices like I tell my kids. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys on Monday in the next video.